Hey everybody, how's it going? Rob Cosner here with Motolabdirtbikes.com coming back at you with another tech tip today and today we're going to be talking about how to quickly and efficiently bleed your hydraulic clutch and your front or rear brake. Um, so this just involves a few simple tools and uh, this is awesome to really speed up the process. I know a lot of people freak out and or just totally neglect their hydraulic clutch. Uh, it doesn't matter what model you have, uh, the principles are the same on all of them so uh, you could use one of two methods you could either work from the top down and basically what you can use is uh, your, uh, your good old friend gravity to help and let the fluid actually flow from the top to the bottom or what a lot of people do is they'll just suck it all out or just let it drain out and then use a syringe and then push the fluid and along with it all the air out through the top both are easy. Um, you know, I'm going to show you a quick way to do it. And this way, you can go around the whole bike and just flush everything out all in one sweep. Keep in mind that I don't quote me on this, but um, all Brembo um, master cylinder uh, hydraulic clutch systems use the dot four brake fluid, which is convenient because everything on the bike's dot four. A lot of the older bikes have the Magora uh, clutch system, um, the hydraulic system, which used mineral oil. So just make sure you understand what you got and what your bike needs. Check your service manual always. Um, so basically I'm going to show you what tools you need to get started here. So simple stuff. Uh, this one in particular is an 8mm wrench and some, some Silkeline Pro Race brake fluid. And I'll show you my sweet little device right here. This is the way to go. It's like one liter pop bottle or something. You know, take a pop hole in the top, yourself some vinyl tubing, the appropriate vinyl tubing that will fit the diameter of the nipple that um, you're going to be putting the tubing on, whether it be for the brakes or the master cylinder itself. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. This one we're going to work on the clutch and do a gravity bleed. So let's go ahead and check this okay. out. Okay, here we are all set up, ready to rock and roll. Got our 8mm wrench in place, the banjo fitting still tight, uh, and the, the bleeding nipple rather. Now we got our hose attached to our tricky little 1 liter setup right there. And uh, basically what we're going to do is make sure that our master cylinder is full. Check. It's just a little down, but that's no worries. But So what we need to do is take and crack this. So what I usually do is, so you can see fluid starting to come out. So that's a good sign. So as I say, usually sometimes it takes two turns to get going. And then what we do is come up here and watch that. And just keep her topped off. Because you'll see, it'll, sometimes it'll go down pretty quick. So I'll take it and make sure that you keep her topped up. That's a good, quick, easy way to take and bleed that, right? I always want to make sure you keep fresh fluid in there. It does get beat rather quickly. You know, I'd recommend, uh, you know, especially if you're racing, double check this stuff. Just like along with your suspension oil, you should have it serviced every 20 hours or less uh, if you're hardcore racing. I mean, it's just, just a no-brainer. Uh, if uh, any of you guys or gals out there have ran into a situation where you wind up with no brakes, it's, it's not fun, especially if you're racing. So be smart out there. This is a good little trick. Makes it quick and easy. Using our friend Gravity here, make, making it quick. So that's good. So this one might take five minutes or less. And just keep it topped up. All right. Come down here. Make sure everything's happy and helping along. It's all good. Then we got some runoff. It's coming right down into our brake bleeding bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and cap this off. I think you get the idea on that. So once you snug that back up, come back up here to our tricky lever and make sure make sure we're good to go. Make sure you got plenty of pressure. Make sure it felt just like it did before, like it's stock. And then what we'll do is we'll just top that off and and cap it off. Yeah. So I hope that helps. Uh, it's kind of nice little tip and trick to know. And 
You could use that same method as uh, far as bleeding the brake systems. What you do is just same application, take and put that hose on there, crack it loose with the master cylinder cap off, and you can take and just actually pump the brake lever and uh, make sure you stay there at that master cylinder and keep it topped off. You don't want to introduce any air in there, but that's a good, quick, easy way, you know, one man powerhouse to take and bleed your brake system. So. Hope that helps. Everyone stay tuned. Um, if you haven't already, just go ahead and subscribe to our uh, blog and or YouTube channel. Uh, so Motolab Dirt Bikes. And check out uh, you know, obviously the blog on motolabdirtbikes.com. And uh, there's always uh, some new tricky stuff coming down the line for you to help those DIY guys out there. And then uh, stay tuned. we got a, a grand opening coming for our online store on uh, motolabdirtbikes.com. Currently under a a sweet revamp under the site so thanks again everybody really appreciate it and uh, have yourselves an awesome day out there and we'll see you on the trail all right